Hey guys, what's up? I'm Double X. I'm here with another vlog, and it's a really important one that I need to tell you guys because it's something that happened to me early last week. And to protect the privacy of those involved, I'm gonna leave out any important names. Last Sunday, I went to this anime convention in Philadelphia known as J1Con. I dressed up like Grey Fullbuster from Fairy Tale, invited my best friend, and we had a great time. We met some old friends, made some new ones, shared some photo ops. It was really fun. Two days later, that Tuesday night, I received a message from a girl that saw me in my great cosplay. She basically just said how handsome I looked and just said I was a great cosplayer. So I replied with a thank you. I wanted to put this girl on my friends list. So I checked out her Facebook page and I happened to scroll down a little and see that one of her statuses from that earlier Monday claimed that she was just struggling in life in general. And while I didn't take too much into how bad she was dealing with lots of issues, I decided that maybe I should just message her and say what I thought might cheer her up. You know, it was just basically on a whim. Just, you know, one of the things that I do to possibly help someone's day. So I went back on Messenger and I typed up my thoughts, basically telling her that even when we have rough days, we always look forward to the ones ahead of us and that there's always people in the world that love us and care about us and want to help us whenever we're in trouble. And I ended this message telling her to stay strong and to keep on fighting. Now I... Gotta admit, I did not expect the response that I was going to receive. She responded to me within minutes, saying that she was crying tears of joy, and that she was so thankful and grateful that I cared about her that much, even though I never met her before. But that wasn't the big thing. The big thing was she told me that I was her sign, because I sent that heartfelt message to her while she was writing her goodbye letter. It took me a while for that to sink in, but essentially, my words prevented a suicide. I, I, I was speechless. I could not believe what just happened. I mean, I didn't, I never thought that something like this could happen. I essentially just saw a girl who was just having some rough times and I gave her some encouraging advice telling her to stay strong and to keep on going and to always look positively at life and apparently my words reached her and in ways that I didn't expect to do so. And I've been just thinking about this for days now because yeah, I, I, I saved someone's life with just my words. And I'm making this video because I think that's something that we can all take away from this. You know, oftentimes we take life for granted, not realizing that there is someone out there in the world that's having it worse than us. And that there are some people that just struggle to go by each day thinking that, well, maybe it would be easier if I just ended it right here, right now. And it's amazing that all it could take for someone to not cross that line and not take their own life is for someone to actually go up to them, talk to them, listen, maybe provide a shoulder for them to cry on. You know, all it takes is to show some act of kindness to them. And it could be the difference between life and death. It could change someone's life for the good. Sometimes all it takes is a simple act of kindness, which is why it's very important for us to remember that the things that we say and the things that we do can make a huge impact on someone's life. So we need to make sure that impact is a positive one. I, d I, don't, I don't know how well, how many views this video is going to get, and I really don't care. I'm just hoping that to the people that do watch this video, I'm hoping that they can take away from it the idea of being kindness for essentially no other reason than just to be kind. It was a 
big eye opener for me that realized that, you know, my kind words and actions can really make a difference. And you know what? If you want to make a difference, sometimes all you just need to do is make a random act of kindness. Show people that you care. And don't take people for granted. I'm Double X Studios, and I'll see you next time.